Okay, today what I'm going to do is show you how I set up my MineLab Safari to find coins only in the United States. When you start out, you usually will have a blank screen like this. What you need to do is knock out all everything from 29 as you see here down to negative 10. Let's see, let's see if that works. It's, you're knocking down out 29 to negative 10. Let me adjust this a little bit here. So let's go up to 29. And this is how you do it on the MindLab Safari. Hold the plus key, go all the way to 29, and then you hit this check X. Go down to 28, do the same thing. And just keep doing that all the way down. To where everything is blocked out. And I do this in Ferris, because I like the sound in the Ferris mode, other than the coin mode. So that'll be on your right hand side. This is your Ferris sounds. So we go all the way down, knock out everything, again from 29, down to negative 10. That will knock out all your trash, and yes, it will knock out. And then what you do is go up here to the relic side, where it says relic, press and hold until it beeps at you. It says save. So now you're use, you have a user save mode in relic. And so now everything as far as trash goes, you still get a lot of trash, but at least you know you'll have from 30 all the way up to 39 will tell you most likely it'll be a coin. So that's how I hunt here in the United States for coins only in a park. Yeah, you'll miss your rings and you'll miss your nickels, but it's well worth not having to dig everything. So let's go ahead and I will find a signal for you and we will see what it comes out to be. We also show you how fast you're supposed to swing a safari. If you're used to other beep of metal detectors, you swing them pretty fast. The safari, you can't do that. So if you see me here, this is about all the faster you want to swing a safari. It takes a little bit of time for the processor to know what's under the ground, but if you swing slow enough, you will really find out what's under the ground. It gives the time for the processor to tell you what's on the ground here. Let me just show you this signal here, what I'm talking about. See how it kind of just beeps out at you? But you go back over top of it, it goes away. That's just a processor taking time to let you know what's underneath there. I'll not use my headphones here for a while. Hopefully you're able to see what's going on here. Well, see? Now, to me, that's what's telling us. The processor goes up, there's something underneath there, but it takes a little time. And it goes, I don't like it. See, it's not giving you any more signals. So let's keep going. This is a park that's been super hunted out. So you're cherry picking pieces here. So again, no faster than this. Yes, you don't get to cover a lot of ground, but you get to find everything that everybody else has missed. So until I find a, another signal, pull it out. But remember, 
nice and slow. And I'm going to show you also for your sensitivity. Make sure it's on auto. And then your ferrous, which is junk, make sure it's on low. I always find out that if you're on high, you get a lot of falsing. So low trash density and auto on your sensitivity. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, here's the first signal. And you can see how it repeats. And it, so you have to go slow. If you go any little faster, going by, you would miss it. See if you go too fast? Now let's just go slow. There it is. Little odd signal, but all those odd signals could be something good. Well, let's dig and find out. Okay, we got a signal here. This one should be a good one. The last one I had was a piece of iron that falsed on me, but this is what you will get as far as a good signal. This one's right towards the top and it's probably a zincon. So let's just go ahead and give it a dig and we'll find out what it is. Well, it wasn't a penny, it turned out to be a key. But you find all again, interesting things up into the 30 to 39 range. So, another key to add to our, the collection. Here's a signal. A little odd. Bouncing around a little bit. Well, let's just give it a try. So as you can see, 33. Let's give it a try. Well, that odd signal turned out it looks like to be a big piece of lead. Oh well, never know what you're going to find. Back. Got another signal. This one here is probably, you can see a 34, which is probably a zinc penny. Let's pick it up and find out. And that's exactly what it was, one zinc penny. I'm going to show you two different types of signals. You hear that one there? Well, that one's probably going to be a zinc pin or something. I'll dig it up and show you, and then I'll show you a different other type of signal that shows you that even though it comes up as a coin, it's actually probably iron, and I'll show you why. another signal. Even though it comes up good, you can hear that thunk. That normally means it's iron and down there, falsing, and it's deep. And every time I dig those, they're a big piece of iron. The last one was a zinc penny, but let's take a look at this one. I'll dig it just to find out.